Hello my wonderful friends, Megas here at the castle and today we're going to do a pick a card and the question is what is my next step and then we're going to do a walkthrough through the eight coins tattoo tarot and the imagery is so beautiful. I'm so excited to share it with you. So let's head in and see what the cards have to tell us. Alright, I am so excited today. Cannot wait to see what the cards have to tell us. I'm going to make three piles here and then I'll bring the camera in close and you guys can pick one. This is going to be pile one, pile two, and pile three. And our question is, what is my next step? Okay, we have deck one, deck two, and deck three. And what I usually teach is just run your finger over the screen and see if one of the decks resonates with you and, and just keep in your mind the question, what is my next step? What do I do next? And just have that idea and just see if you feel uh, a deck calling to you. It may be one, two, all three, or none of them. So if you need to, go ahead and pause it and then we'll come back. Okay, in the first pile we have the Four of Cups. And the number four, it's a number of order. And this card is to help us, it's to advise us uh, how to keep our emotions orderly. Uh, this is a picture of a person you see gazing directly at the three cups on the ground. And uh, if he would just turn his gaze upward, he would see this hand right here that's offering him the cup of grace and uh, his yearning for earthly pursuits, be it money, things, a better body, uh, better relationships. Uh, these are no guarantees for contentment, uh, but yearning when it's turned towards spirit, towards your own ascension spiritually, this brings the joy of life and a, a real contentment. And this card tells us uh, there's a spiritual blessing close at hand uh, to look up, to look within, and don't miss it. Uh, or you'll always feel that numb and bored and wondering what is the meaning of life? What is the meaning of it all? So today I think this card is telling us our next step is to turn our focus to spirit, to living morally, uh, good thoughts, good words, and good deeds. Pile number two, we have temperance. And I, I've actually heard that this card originally was called the alchemy card. And I think you'll be able to see why, uh, because one must walk this path to accomplish the great work. And you'll see this path that leads to the light. Uh, and when I look at this card, I'm reminded that we all have a guardian angel. Uh, he, he has one foot here in the water, you'll see. And to me, water represents mind. And then you'll also see he's pouring uh, from a higher cup to the lower cup. And that's wisdom from above coming down. And this card, it also represents sobriety. It's moderation in our thoughts, words, and actions. It's abstinence from alcohol. Now, as I say that, I'm thinking someone is probably thinking, I wish I didn't pick this deck. And uh, there might be someone else out there thinking, boy, I should have probably picked that deck. Uh, but take what's for you. And you know if drugs and alcohol and excess is ruining your life. And uh, this might be a sign from the universe lovingly guiding you to get back on your path. And you'll see also the irises. And um, this represents a uh, promise and it's peace and it's this card it's it's encouraging us to try to go for it and that our guardian angel will help you and guide you and love you through it beautiful In pile three we have the six of cups oh there's something that's just so beautiful about this card and uh the first thing i always notice is the aging building uh that's in contrast to these young children and this can be thought of as the inner child and it doesn't matter the surrounding circumstances uh, they are looking at each other uh, with such love and they're sharing a cup with flowers and they're only focused on the beauty of life and therefore their life is beautiful and I think this is telling us that today uh, to look for the beauty in life, in all stages of life, in the lessons and experiences, knowing that this life is a gift and that we're to look for the sweetness of it, for it really is beautiful. 
Wow, just beautiful cards today. They really spoke to me. I'd love to know what you thought. Did your pile resonate with you? Please go to the comments and let me know. And then I'm excited to share with you uh, the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot. This is a tarot I pull out quite often and just love to go through and look at the art. Uh, it comes with a beautiful book and what I really like about it is the pictures in the book are actually color which you don't see very often so I love that. It comes with a spreadsheet and then let me bring the camera in so you can see these cards up close. They are just amazing. Here's the full card. It's beautiful. The colors just really pop. The Magician card, which is very unique. I've never seen one like that. It's just the hand. The High Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. The Hierophant, which I just love this. I love ravens as it is. Wow. The Lovers. The Chariot. The Strength card. Take a look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that? Look at the lion she's wearing as a hat. Beautiful. Such detail. And then this hermit. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. Here's one of the cards we pulled today. The Devil. The Tower. The Star. Stars are always one of my favorite cards. Oh, so beautiful. The Moon. Of course, it's got the crayfish there. The Sun. I love it. Judgment. In the world. And the minor arcana is just as beautiful. Here's the Ten of Cups. Let's see, I'll flip through here and Give you an idea of some of the other artwork. Here's Knight of Wands. Here's Queen of Swords. I love this page of cups with a koi. It's beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Just beautiful. Wow, I just love these cards. I can't get enough of them. So beautiful. And the funny thing about cards, I know 
then we can go inside and we can always hear from spirit. We have direct access to God, but there are times in life when things are so noisy, it can be confusing. And it's nice just to pull a card and see what message we can get from it. And it's just, it's a beautiful spiritual tool that I really enjoy. And I hope you guys are too, because I'd like to do more of these. Let me know also in the comments, uh, you know, how the pick a card worked for you. If you enjoyed the tattoo tarot. And also, what do you think about hearing from the cards? And is that a part of your spiritual practice? And anyway, I just love, as you can tell, getting comments from you guys. I love the interaction. That's a big part for me. So if you haven't already, please subscribe uh, so that we can talk back and forth and, and become a part of our community. And anyway, I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.